It's you. Come on in. We're glad to see you. Welcome to Classic Aftershave and Cologne Month. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays, we're the Barbershop Duet! And we just finished our very first Barbershop Month! And we want January. to thank all of you for being here. It was mm -hmm. awesome. Boy, we did deep dives into we 20 did. or 25 different barbershop sets. Lots of sets categories we found. We had no amazing. idea. And we mm -hmm. had such a good time. We thought that we should just dive headlong into classic cologne and aftershave yeah, month. Let's all learn some why more not? stuff. Yeah. Also known as PAA time to shine mm -hmm. because they've they got a lot <laughs> are fabulous conservators mm -hmm. of scents that may not be available anymore right? otherwise mm -hmm. and the pinnacle of such things might be the actual original first, cologne, first which we cologne. might be looking at today mm -hmm. but before tuned. we do that we had a cool mention we i do. am a lover of this artisan natural deodorant from paa mm -hmm. and i was watching a video with douglas the Ooh, other day okay. and he had a tip when you use this, it functions beautifully when it has just a little bit of body temperature with it. So what you want to do is when you go to use it, put it right there, count to about 12, and let your body heat warm up the soap, and it becomes a magnificent deodorant to go on. And so, yeah! Most of the soaps that you purchase come in a deodorant as well. So if you haven't dug on the site, keep going. There the, are more things to find. The Planet Phoenix one just has a beautiful mm -hmm. way of sitting on your shoulder during the day. It does. And it really fits a lot of times through the year. Like, I've kind of noticed yeah. when you put it on, I'm like, ah, it totally right. fits now. Why not? Love it. And another way to keep those favorite PAA mm -hmm. scents with you during the day, right? So, what's our soap today? Our soap today, we actually did a little research because it really is the yeah. first cologne that anyone can find and trace back as far as we know. this scent goes back to the 1700s Easy. and we're so excited because if we're going to do classic aftershave month let's get mm -hmm. serious and let's meet the song <laughs> all right so this is from the sales page at phoenix artisan accoutrements Fresh, classy, and summertime favorite, 4711 is widely known and accepted as the original Eau de Cologne due to its geographical birthplace and original date of creation sometime in the early 18th century, wow, in Cologne, Germany. Ah, that's the tip-off, right? The scent was designed to be fresh and invigorating, herbal and light, perfect for summer or when you want something a bit brighter. Oh. The citrus notes are anchored by earth and wood, allowing the scent to mellow nicely and provide a bit of warmth to the overall blend wow love it okay. oh so to start classic cologne and aftershave month of course i wanted to go back to the very beginning mm -hmm. what was the very first cologne and somebody right. said it's at paa you know they got it hey yes. of course he does uh -huh. he's got everything going on over there so i was just delighted that we can actually start to get a sense maybe right. where of where this started. whole crazy world started right mm -hmm. and this was back in the day before i was getting the splash unfortunately and yeah, it's a seasonal know. so mm -hmm. it has gone away for well, the, luckily, uh, the colder months it's but been hiding on the piano we've got it here folks we let's do. unbox it Okay, so when we were newbies to the hobby, and I found out that a whole slew of them were going away for the right. season, I was like, small, small, small. Yeah, we got to get them. So, uh, yeah, we, we got it's a, a lot. few. That's a big We box. got uh, Garden of Bali is coming up, and Tons yeah, of fun we, we grabbed a few that day. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, a beautiful. And Douglas actually sent us the oh, Wikipedia yeah, article is? about who this is. This is the Count of St. Germain, hmm. and they're not sure exactly what his real name was. They're not sure exactly where he was born. He's one of those like enigmatic oh, geniuses that was running around Europe at the time, okay. right? So yeah, so we know like this name, but it could be any. Bon vivant, <laughs> right? There you go. So wow. oh, and, and if you did used to watch Square One Television, this was a TV show on Channel Nine, which was our local public huh. broadcasting All station, right. and it was kind of designed for middle school kids to help teach them math and stuff okay. in the afternoons. Right. So being a total nerd growing up, uh, I would come home and watch shows about math, I and there see. was one entire episode of Math Net which was a takeoff of Dragnet, oh, which needed you to understand the Fibonacci sequence to solve the case. So the Fibonacci sequence is you take the number one, okay. and it repeats at the beginning, right. and then you add those two together, and ah, you get two. You add those two together, you get two. three. You add those two together, you get five. The Look next what one we have eight, learned today, people. Cetera, right? So it's kind of funny because the original cologne is named 4711. Right. So it's kind of cool that he took ah, a classic numbers right. sequence. Right. I was wondering what that was. Homage mm. name. Woo. Look at how smart you are. Enough stalling. I think okay. it's time for a first impression. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, this is all you. You think? And I, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of discover, among all of the smells in the world, what were the first smells that somebody thought of, nope, I need to wear this. I need to right? take this with me. So, you know, I would assume that there's, and, and I caught a little bit of it, of course, in the sales okay. page, that there's some citrus in here because right. that's kind of, of like course, a foundational. Kind of thing. Most mm -hmm. scents have citrus in right. them of some kind. And right? even think back in the 1700s, even early 1800s, right. you know, people weren't known for taking daily baths. Or, you right. know, it, it was, was tricky. Right. It was a different, right. was a yeah. different time, you here know? Here in San Francisco, we had the Sutro baths. You'd, right. you'd have to, like, literally go downtown to get clean. Right. And then even now it's like, the opposite. You gotta, plumbing anyway. wasn't really a thing, you right. know? So I can understand why they had a different need. Sure. To to have something to kind of freshen you up a yeah. little bit, you and know? I am absolutely fascinated to see what somebody's right? very first cologne Right, but just like. putting myself in that mindset because that it's not like today, like, oh, I need right. a little refresh. Like, they were in a different time. Yeah, I mean, time. today, if you're going to be a perfumer, you'd maybe start by smelling what some of the major houses have done. Right. But back then, y'all, what are mm -hmm. you going to do? There's nothing to do. So you just got to be like, well, what scents go together? And right? is there a way to make them stay on me during the day? Right. Well, and even then, they couldn't really go wash their clothes. So, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. it was just different times. All right. Mm. Anyway. All right, no stop. Now... Let's see what. Let's like. see what our ancestors <laughs> might have smelled okay, like. All I right, take it in. Mm -hmm. This is exciting. Here's the pour for those who like to. Yeah, beautiful CK six. It's been pour. a while since we had a PAA. I, kind of... Yeah, I know. It's been too long since CAD. Okay, I totally see. Oh. It's a light scent. Okay, yeah. But I do feel like, putting myself in that time zone. Yeah. What would have been around then? Right. Does it kind of smell like vintage? It does, Ooh. but I don't know what that is. It, maybe it's like a different, it's, I don't know if it's a floral or oh, like yeah. a spice. Right. I do get a little citrus, but I almost get like a citrus blossom. Uh, oh, Do you know what I mean? Oh, like it's, it's a prettier yeah. side of the... Now being the very first cologne from Cologne, Germany. Yes. Could this be put on the ladies? I actually got a little more feminine hit Ooh. at first, and then my second whiff, I got a little bit more. Right. So maybe well, it's look at meant the dudes of the time, though, y'all. They're wearing yeah. wigs and dresses. Let's be real. Um, all that so detailed it makes work sense going on. That they might smell a little bit more feminine. Because right? and and that was the whole thing. Like when you had money, because you could smell nicer. You know, like it wasn't more of that kind of a thing. A little status. All right, I don't know. Here, I'm maybe. guessing. Maybe you filling know. in the blanks here. Ooh. And you know, they still. You can still buy this yes, on Amazon. Yes, we didn't Amazon. find that out You can still today. get 4711, like, all over the right. place, though. It, it's, it, it's, it is. It's that good. It mm -hmm. has endured, right? So There's ooh. lots of research, so if you want to go YouTube all that, but this is where we're at here. Yeah, but version. if I know Douglas and Fran, this mm -hmm. is the original formula, or like right. the it's OG one. Right, as close as you one, could right? get, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. Here we okay. go. I am curious what you think. Oh, it's a nice boy. It is. Okay. I know. We've waited a while to open this up. It's kind of fun. Oh. Is it what you were thinking? Oh, no, not at all. No, because colognes for me have like a syrupy sweetness. And it has like a little hit to at them. the I mean, end. Maybe it's just because I was raised on my mm -hmm. dad's like Avon colognes, right? But no, no, no. Right, right, right. No, this is more real and more refined and more right? beautiful. But that's what I mean. It's like something that they had oh. around then to make this. Flower. Yes, and I totally get what you mean. It's the citrus and the citrus flower. and like, I, I don't want to say it's a simple scent. No. But it's not, you know. But it's where it all started. Of course, it's right. not going to be like a nine no, act no. play. But, and course, I feel right? like you get whatever you want to focus your nose on, you'll Ooh. get those parts of it right oh it's a lovely citrus it is somehow familiar I it can't, is i can't i wanted to say really that too place it right i don't it, know I, I really did want to say that i don't that. know what that thing is no it's my, beautiful it's it's refreshing yeah it's clean it's it does have a little bit of like a floral yeah it does have a little of a citrus it and does. some kind of a light spice or wood yeah something right or at least that's what my brain is finding i don't yeah. know if that's actually what it is just something along the lines to let you know business is being done something right. may be functional does there was thought sense? and time put in to make oh. this yeah, no, you know? 100%. 100%. Like, and, and back then, I don't even know what they would have even had available to really make that. Well, you know? it would have been more natural, that's for sure, because mm -hmm. they didn't have all the chemistry labs and stuff. Right? Yeah, I, it's funny. It is oddly familiar. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> if I knew someone that was had it? something similar. Right. Or if it was like someone's house that had that smell because right. that's what they had around. Right. It is a very clean, natural smell. Like mm -hmm. somebody's house could smell like this. Right, it was right, like right. Super clean and near like an orange grove. Maybe yeah, or something, I know. Right? I, but it has, um, it has. It's. I don't want to say there's age to it, but it has that like. Yeah. It's been around. It. it it's. It's a. Right. It's a scent that can yes. be good on many people. Right. So when we say clean, it's not clean like you might think of a barbershop. We're hot off barbershop month. Like, right, right. Like a clean barbershop. Or, or no, soapy. no, no, no. It's, it's not, not soapy. that kind of. Right. It's not soapy. It's more of like the. orange 
orange grapefruit, maybe. Yeah. Floral, for sure. And it's not the zest of it. it you know, that. like sometimes we talk about how it's like it is citrusy, it but is it's more that. zesty. This is more oh, like the no. actual sweeter the side. The meat of the fruit. The, right. It is the more meat that. of the fruit. I wonder if it was made by distilling juices. I mean, but that's what I mean. I'm trying to think of like what was around then because it, do, it somehow smells that way. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, but now that you ask me, is it masculine or feminine? What do you? Think? Oh, what really do you think? good question. You're right. I, I'd probably go along with you. I'd probably say this would be equally fitting on right? each, but it makes sense because I don't know if this was given a gender at the beginning. No. If it was just the cologne, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. I'm really curious about yeah. what's going on here. Let's take a look at the sound. <laughs> you know what I love? I, I have, I had old grandparents <laughs> and their noses are sort of set in their time i would agree you know i, I mean? get what you're saying yeah so yeah, like yeah. the products mm -hmm. that they would choose and the things that they would put on and the hair stuff and, and even the laundry to turn into things yeah. right were the sort of citrus that's <laughs> in this it's mm -hmm. very cool and very comforting but i'm like there's a genre to this and there i is. flashed back to those days mm -hmm. on the farm right with my grandparents. and maybe that's what's familiar to you and to me like there's something in this right. that was almost like a generational thing that yeah. could have been carried down you know like like, that's what they right. chose as smelling good. Right. Was something so like this. Talk about vintage, vintage. Because you think vintage, <laughs> right. you go back to like Gillette and, right. the, and no, the geraniums and things that. of those actually. No, you got to go back before the 1800s, before right. Charles Dickens, right? Mm -hmm. Go all the way back. And then you're going to find, whoa. It's, it smells classic. It does. Like, it really does. Speaking it has of classic that, aftershave. Hold somehow on. it's <laughs> able to hold that air. And I totally get that this is where it all started. Yes. Like, I can tell mm -hmm. that these are the and first few things that really clicked it's together. It's oddly timeless still. Like, how is it still so okay now? Does that make sense? Right. Well, if it works, folks. I mean, if it's well, great, why change things it? don't go out of style. They're going to be listening yeah. to Ella Fitzgerald for 500 years. But it is funny. So like, like as humans, we agree. Sense to that me. smells refreshing and clean. And we, yeah, it does. It smells like a jump in a swimming hole. I mean, it's really funny, but <laughs> right? there you go. Right? Oh, and you know what else? It's interesting. Kind of thinking back to the 1700s when they'd be throwing, you know, chamber pots out in the street mm -hmm. and yeah, things yeah, yeah. didn't smell good. Mm -hmm. You would think that those scents would need to be rather <clears throat> potent right, to, to cover, cover up the fact that mm -hmm. there's stuff in the street, right? Yeah. But no, this yeah. is beautifully balanced and kind of right in the it middle really is, of yeah. a nice, beautiful cologne that's mm -hmm. just going to kind of sit on your shoulder. So right. it's not meant to like cover things. And it's not it's like a perfume, which is good. much right. stronger. Right. Or like what we think of co as cologne now. Right. This is a lighter scent. I would have scent. thought that the earlier colognes would have been like to Strong. cover up other things. Right. Right? No, it's beautiful. Like, I, this I is meant to be this and a summer breeze. And right. I totally get why it's summer. But I also wonder if they didn't have stuff back then that could have made it that potent yet. Oh, maybe. You know? All right. We're not starting here <laughs> with the set notes with Aldehydic. Not like an Aldehydic? That sounds Aldehydic. like an insurance salesman. Have you met Aldehydic? He's a really <laughs> nice guy. Uh, and then followed by, we know this okay, one. Okay. Neroli. Neroli. Beautiful. Yeah, citrus. citrus. But it doesn't list which ones, which is awfully nope. intriguing. And then I love this set, this set note. Next one. Ready? Green. It's not just, easy being green. No, it's it's just, just green. That's, that's all you all. need. You figured out. Figure Next. Out. Mint. Mint. Ooh. Ooh. Little bit of peppermint, maybe just a tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I could see I that. I don't think it's a spearmint. No, but more like a mint leaf. There it is. You know, like yes. I, like a tea. You know, you'd have yes, that mint it's in, a mint leaf. Something so maybe like it that. Is a little bit mm -hmm. more spearmint. Pedigree, Pedigree. good. Okay. Lavender. I did get it. that. That was the kind of floral part I was getting. Yeah. I think. And then kind of adjectives here: earthy, earthy woody, woody herbal. herbal. See, I did say herbal, like Love a mint it. tea. Maybe it's more that herbally kind of a... Yeah. Ah, interesting. And okay. I love how it is earthy, but it's not like the soil. It's more... It's a it's a subtle rockiness it to is. it. It's lovely. But I, I do feel like we're going to better ourselves having this in our it's den. Honey. Kind of just knowing where it came from. Right. There's like a honey I That's scent. what I said. There's It's something Some sweeter. Some catching in this. It's sweeter floral. I know it says earthy, woody, herbal, but to me, I get a sweeter hit off the base yeah. from there. I don't know. A tiny know. wisp of like a citronella? Maybe yeah, toward the end? Yeah, maybe because it says citrus. So, I mean, right. depending which ones your nose are finding. Really And beautiful. green. It is. Yeah. It is green. Right. But like fresh leaf green. Like there's something that's like right. refreshing, you know, that comes from that. This is so cool. What a little time travel it experiment is. this is. Right? Okay. So now that we've read that, should we lather and see what magic Ooh, awaits? Oh, yeah. Let's see. What... We're using our lather lid here. Yeah. And then we're using our atomic rocket. One this of our first brushes we got. Favorite shaving brushes. This is a lid that fits on to the PAA soaps. In fact, it fits right. on to it a lot of artisan soaps. Right on top. Right. Just fits like So if you got to go on mm -hmm. tour, you just throw this on there. Swap and you will Here have a great 
Lab their bowl with you. Mm-hmm. So let me show you how this works. And it, it really wakes up pretty quick. The last time we tried this, yeah, so uh, right, hopefully, right. Uh, I forgot how good the lid works. Yeah, we I have our scuttle that we time. use. This yeah, is my first time but using like that's that cool. was like four times around. Ta-da! Ooh, magic's happening. There it is. Look at that. It's fun. There is still a hidden cube on this label. Right. Yeah. We yeah, got so excited. We, we are time traveling them. a little bit. The mm-hmm. uh, cube on the label might indicate that it is a scene of a parallel dimension rather close to our own that the cube is able to travel in between can you see also in the back of the label there's like a person reaching oh it almost looks more feminine like like the the hair's all curly ratio or maybe that's his composed version and then his crazy version i don't know there's things happening just you know take a peek if you've got the label and you know we don't comment on lather here at the barbershop too well no but but, uh, look look, at that magic yes and this is the little lather lid guy so it has has these little separators i don't know if you can see but it really helps get the brush in there and wake things up quickly 60 seconds in the lather bowl with a little bougie Mm -hmm. spray and you are set to go okay are things happening scent wise Oh, oh, lovely! It just it mellows ever so slightly, just ever so slightly mellows out. You feel? It? I I get more of the citrus initially now. Oh yeah, and the, and I almost can't pick out that sweeter floral. Like it kind of those two oh. sort of blended a little bit more. Yeah, and I do get a little of the honey that sort of binds. Right. It I know it doesn't somehow. list it, but I do get that sweeter side, and yeah. I'm not sure what that right. is. If it's the neroli, that's the neroli. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say the neroli. Okay, so right. take a whiff here, because I get it. a little more floral. There's like a Here. marigold. Is that, yeah. There's like a, mm-hmm. and, and I think I know why I was thinking of the ranch. The, the ranch oh. was, had a couple of my aunt and my grandma who were giant horticulturalists and who loved plants and flowers. Ah, and they loved go. marigolds and nasturtiums and all these things that like different thrived types of, in the uh, California Valley. And this right? might be having something similar. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting those beautiful florals from the ranch. Yeah. And I feel like my mom had a lotion or something that had something similar in it. It's not exactly this, oh. but it does. It, it it's a comforting smell to me. I don't know what it is, but maybe who knows? Maybe her lotion was based off of four seven one one. I'm glad I, don't know. I figured this out because it's it gonna was bug you. bugging me. I was like, no, it's a particular something. It's that flower. Yeah. It's a little orange and red flower, and it looks mm-hmm. like a firework that's going off. And oh, I used to love them. And my I mom. I think grew I know them exactly by, what you're talking about. By the dozen, man. Wow. Oh, and I love. And it's not generally used in shaving soaps because I've no. only smelled it in one other. And this this is just beautiful the way it's being used. But again, here. if we're thinking of that time period and what would maybe be around, right. you know, it would have been something like that that Ooh. they would have grabbed. Oh, I love this. And and I am from a large German family, a very large True. Germans. I Klinger German means bell too. ringer, clinker, right? Clinker. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot you told me that. Yeah, my grandmother was shot off the back of a wagon by the Bolsheviks. Wow. The, the family stories uh, yeah, go mm-hmm. go long and, and deep. And my grandpa's family spoke German too. So, uh, yeah, who there knows? There you, you go. go. They, Connected to this somehow. My family snuck into Idaho through Canada, so thank you very much. But still, I love that we finally, like, when we picked up this soap, I didn't even realize that that's what we were getting. I think you had gotten it so long ago. But it's super fun to know. What a gorgeous, gorgeous floral that Mm -hmm. is. And and I had again, we don't really talk about lather, but this lid is working some magic, y'all. I'm crazy. It's working some magic. Okay, so now that you've placed what was bugging you, and now that we whipped this up, I think we should take a little time travel. Get in the DeLorean, folks. We're going back to 1700s. I feel like this is a scent when I can't decide what I want, and I need to brighten up my spirits and just put a little, like calm and smile and refresh in my day like right. this would be one i'd gravitate towards yeah and i think i'm glad i discovered that i think i know what the floral is because oh, i'm yeah. fascinated by florals that are very masculine and there are mm-hmm. there, are there are some flowers that are super masculine and that's why and i have hate to say if something has floral in it because right. i don't mean that it's feminine no. but it's just where it like kind of programmed to think that right and some of these mad scientists like douglas right? and Fran, can sometimes dive in and take parts of the flower mm-hmm. out to leave the rest right you know, and just take the qualities they Whoa. want or the sweeter sides right. or just a refreshing kind of speaking of this one side oh yeah. so i love that the original cologne was kind of based on right? some masculine citrus and florals and things right? that would just be growing in the german countryside and i love that you can go and buy it I, I ah. look on Amazon, you can still go buy it. Right. And they even make little towelettes that you can put in your purse to like wipe your face off oh. and feel clean. So when you travel a lot, I guess a lot of people just put that, you know, and they like wipe right. their face, feel all clean after traveling. So I, it's just kind of fun. And we yeah. were watching a video of from Fragrance Fragrance Bros. Oh, Fragrance Bros. And yeah, if yeah. you don't know this channel, mm-hmm. y'all, and you like fragrances, just quick little go to. He's mm-hmm. awesome. And he does a lot of the Phoenix stuff. So that's yeah. kind of how we had found that's, him. But have, his sources seem to be, you know, like they really make sense. He's I don't know Frags much. So he really helps explain it in yeah. ways. 
I can understand. So it might help you. <laughs> but that's how we found that you still can actually get it. And it's still timeless. Yeah. Why is it still so relevant now? I, I, it kind of is. Right. I got to say, it still carries that. Well, you, you know, if you do it first and you do it right, of course, everybody's going to want to be able to remember the classic, yeah. right? Classic is a good work. I mean, I know that's our theme for the month, but this is a perfect one to start off with. You can still get Coca-Cola in the original form. Well, not the original formula. Hella cocaine in it, but you don't want to do that to you. (laughs) Anyway, yeah, you know. But exactly. Like, why do you need to change the scent? It's what they're known for. They are literally, it's an Eau de Cologne, and that's where it came from, was Cologne, Germany. I had no idea. And I love that now we have a sense of where this whole world sort of really started. And it was started so well, you can still get it. Wow, it does. Okay, I know this came out for spring, summer. This is totally but I And now I can get why. Yeah. Like, why that was pushed on I the schedule. I know we're sitting in the middle of winter here, folks, mm-hmm. but this is definitively a summer soap. So if you're like me mm-hmm. and sometimes you just need that hit of July mm-hmm. when it's just overcast and sad mm-hmm. outside, I go to the beach. Right. I go to Immortal Peach. Mm-hmm. And, and I'll go to something like one, this. One, two, three, five right? might Absolutely be the next one. beautiful. Just to put you on a nice summer day outside. Right. It's this really light florals. and refreshing. Like, I feel like I'm outside with the summer breeze or sitting right. out reading a book. Like, there is just something of that spring in the air I yeah. get from this. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be a German citizen two, three hundred years ago. Have a couple of tricky work days in a row and you haven't really been able to grab that shower. And boy, you smell terrible. But best of luck, there's an apothecary on the corner and they're selling these new little bottles of something that got numbers on them. And guess what? You just got your own. So head over to their website at phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com or even better, do it by way of the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, which lets them know that we sent you, and it gives us back a small percentage of the sale, which we'll probably spend on soap so we can make more episodes. It's at no cost to you, and we would be grateful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, and now that I spent a few more weeks with it, I love that it's the origin of Cologne and that there is a Tom Ford that I have smelled in the meantime that is not far away, y'all. It's a beautiful scent. I love what they've done with it. I love that my nose still gets marigolds, and it makes me think of my mom because that was her favorite flower. I love that it's just a calm winter scent with some masculine, warm florals at the heart of it. And that CK6 lather. It's just one of my friends, y'all. A combination of sticky and thickness. It's going to be the thickness you want, and it's going to be where you put it. And that's more rare than you might think. I just love how I can layer it in coats if I want to. So, Douglas and Fran, thanks for taking us all the way back. Welcome to Messages. So, we recently opened Ghost Town Barber by Chiseled Face, yeah. and we saw that they're on Amazon, so right. we figured we should share the love and have a giveaway! For y'all! Yay. All you have to do is send us an email to this address we sent you at thebarbershopduet.com so that we can get back to you and be one of our subscribers here on YouTube. Check back on March 17th when we will pull our lucky winner from those emails. And if you are watching in the United States or Canada, you are eligible for this giveaway. So best of luck. That's what I love about PAA soaps. They're so incredibly different. Yeah. Like yeah. some of the artisans you know when you smell a new one. Oh, I bet this is from that one. Right, right, right. right. Of, you can kind of tell their little handprint. But. but yo, when I'm smelling Cider House 5, and then I'm smelling Clown Fruit, and then right. I'm smelling 11235, each one of them is definitively from right. the ground up their own Even Grove thing, and Briar, their own like, character, their own oh, personality. So yes, and there's nothing in these DNAs that is combined. There are no shortcuts taken here, I guess, no. is what I'm really trying to right? say. And we've only been in the hobby for like six months, so, you know, we have no idea what's coming for the next season's ahead We're from so PAA. so mm-hmm. excited because we've heard tell of a few yeah. new summer seasons that we have not gotten our teeth into yet, so we could not yeah, be more keep excited. Keep our eyes open. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this. Thank you